back to Tools. I'm Tom. So what we're talking about today is how square is your square and tools for measuring perpendicularity. We've been talking about uh, the composite square and square master square references. So we're going to show you some tools used for measuring perpendicularity and some reference standards and how to create your own reference standard uh, in the shop when you don't have one. What we have here is we have um, some perpendicularity standards. Uh, this is a master square uh, and this is a cylindrical master square. So these are right angle references for the shop. Um, what we're going to show you is how to create your own shop master reference without uh, having ref uh, access to a calibrated standard. You can do it yourself. Now uh, these are tools used for measuring perpendicularity. Um, they're sometimes called squareness comparators and there's a couple different types. Um, the secret to this is this, this front shoe here uh, on, on, the, on the different instruments. This one has a, just a flat uh, shoe on the front. But the idea is that when you calibrate um, the indicator and the foot against a standard, um, you can zero the indicator and now you can compare something to the reference standard. I hope that makes sense. Um, so let's see how we use these and uh, how we would create a uh, master reference standard in our own shop. Okay, first thing we need is something that, uh, that we're pretty confident is parallel. This is just a common shop steel parallel that's been ground on both sides and hence the name parallel. Um, and this is just one out of my set. It's just a uh, uh, common shop grade one. But per uh, parallelism is actually easy to check. If you've got a good surface plate, what we can do is just run an indicator along the top of this and we can verify that this surface is indeed parallel with that surface that we're sitting on. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then what we'll do is we're just going to create a right angle here by attaching this parallel to a 1, 2, 3 block, like so. And then we'll measure this perpendicularity of this with one of our comparators and determine how far out of square it is. And then um, create our master square reference by using uh, a, just a common shot parallel. All right. Let's get on there. Hold the zero on one end, like so, and then we'll just swing down to the other end, okay? And this is pretty close to parallel. Uh, by my readings, it's less than a tenth, roughly 50 millionths. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit that way. Okay, so this is reasonably parallel. So this will work great for uh, using as our, um, uh, as our uh, reference standard. All right, so here's our parallel mounted to a one, two, three block. And I didn't pay any particular attention to making this square uh, with the surface plate. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna determine uh, how far out of square it is, okay? so. We'll bring our comparator up, and it's not touching right now, so we'll bring it into contact. All right, and then I'm just gently rocking uh, to find the high point here. And what I'm going to do is I'll just zero that out. And I can, the camera's a little bit in my way, so it's hard for me to get over the top of this here. Okay, so there's there's a pretty good zero right there. So this is side. We're going to just call this side A here. All right, we'll call that side B, okay. So we've checked side A and we've zeroed on side A. We're gonna rotate it 180 degrees. And remember that this is parallel. So this should read double the offset in the other direction, which it does, okay. So we're at about 10 thousandths there. So true square, is, dead nuts true square is halfway between our first reading and our second reading, which is about right there, okay, five thou right there. And to verify, we're going to swing it around and do it on the other side. 
and we should get about the same amount on the other side. Okay, so now we're we're we've bridged the the two dimensions there. So true square is now at zero. And just to verify that, what we can do, and once again, we're just going to come up to our master square. All right, and there it is. Okay, so that's dead true square. Anyway, that's how that works. So we've just created a perfect right angle, okay, with something that's not square at all. Okay. Back to this. There. Okay. Thanks for watching.